Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing iFlix. Now, if you haven't heard of iFlix, I'm sure you can guess from the name and the color scheme, the red color scheme, that iFlix is very similar to Netflix, which is of course popular in the US, the UK, and I don't know if it's in other countries. Now, PLDT recently invested a lot of money in iFlix, um, around 15 million US dollars, along with a, another investment company in Kuala Lumpur. So this is their attempt to bring something similar to Netflix to Asia. Um, and right now we're using it in the Philippines. Now, if you're a PLDT customer, it's only gonna cost you 99 peso a month for this service, which is unlimited movies and TV shows, of course, that they have on the site. If you're not a PLDT customer, let's say you're with Buy and DSL or Sky Broadband or someone like that, you're gonna pay 129 peso a month. So it's still pretty low. It's low enough that you might think twice about torrenting that movie or TV series. Now you might be thinking, didn't Globe recently launch something like that? And yes, they did, it's the HOOQ and they're charging 199 peso for that. Unfortunately, they don't have a free trial, so I haven't been able to test it out. The good thing with the uh, iFlix service is they have a 14 day free trial. Now that's perfect if you wanna make sure that you have enough bandwidth or that you're in a good enough area to get this kind of service. You can sign up for the 14 day free trial and you don't even have to give any details, just your cell phone number, which they send a code to, and your email address. So you don't have to give a credit card number or sign up any contract, it's just 14 day, you know, completely free trial where you can test out the service. Now, if you look at the site, it's pretty similar to Netflix. You might not have used Netflix, but it's pretty similar in the way it's laid out. You can see that we have a menu here where we can go to TV, movies, kids. Um, they do have a special kids area, I'll go there now. And they also have parental control, so you can restrict what your kids could access. Um, so you can see here we've got popular shows like Dora the Explorer, Mr. Bean, um, some popular movies like Happy Feet and Shark Tale, uh, Kung Fu Pan. They have a reasonable selection of movies and TV shows. Um, at the time of recording this, I counted 368 movies and around 250 TV shows. So pretty good selection, but you know, they're not the latest movies and they're not the latest series. So you might find that the TV series are a couple of seasons behind and the movies are a few years old. So this isn't gonna replace other mediums of, you know, getting the latest and greatest content. But for someone that, you know, isn't always sure what they wanna watch, they just wanna sit back and throw something on, you know, without putting any thought into it. Something like this for just 99 or 129 peso a month is so easy. You can just go on here and say, you know, okay, I wanna watch some extras, which is a TV season or TV series. You can see it does um, remember how much you watched of something and then you can just resume. So if I resume this, I'm only gonna play a little bit because uh, copyright and everything like that. So let's resume. Um, of course, the speed at which it will stream will depend on your internet connection. So you can see it's streaming now. Now, if we try to check out the movies, I'll go to the top 200 and this will give you an idea of you know what they consider the top 200 or what is actually being watched most and therefore going into the top 200. And you can see there are really some oldies, Forrest Gump, Kung Fu Panda, uh, Transformers, Iron Man 2, some real old movies here, Grease, I mean that's pretty old. Um, but of course a lot of people like watching the classics. If we go to say uh, comedy. You can see, uh, again, Happy Feet's at the top, Kung Fu Panda's at the top, Zoolander. So the kind of the classics, the good ones, but the classics, Hangover Part 2, you know, it's not always the newest. Let's try and load up Rush Hour 2. Again, I can only play a little bit of it because of copyright. So you can see it started streaming pretty quickly, but again, it does depend on your connection. Let's skip forward a bit. See, it's playing okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, it does work quite well, at least for me, but I haven't tried it on a slower connection. I'm sure if your connection is not good enough, it's gonna have issues. Now, one thing you'll notice when streaming a movie or a TV series is you can't have any control over the quality 
um, literally you don't have any control. It's an MPEG dash streaming uh, protocol, uh, which basically means it adjusts the quality of the stream depending on your connection, which is good and bad. It's good because if your connection is not fast enough, you can try and drop down the quality so that you can still stream it. If your connection is better, it's going to give you a better version. But what if you have a really good connection, but you only want to stream at say 240 or 360 because you're going to put it in a small window? Well, it might say, oh, well, you have a good connection, so let's stream it at you know, the highest bit rate that we can. So you're wasting that bandwidth. Um, I think this is something they're probably gonna add as a feature. Right now it can't even stream HD. Um, so I don't think it's even 720, I think it's like 480. Uh, they say in the FAQ that HD will be coming soon. Uh, but at the moment they don't even have HD, so. Now one thing I found weird is that PLDT are, you know, they put a lot of money into this um, and they're really backing this. So what's strange is if you're on one of their plans that has a monthly data cap, for instance, 15 gig or 10 gig, this iFlix service will actually consume the data. Now you might be thinking, well, that's fine because you're using the data. But when I did a trace route on the content delivery network that was delivering, say, the movie, it went back to PLDT's data center. Now, I would assume, and it would make sense, that they are caching the data there um, so that when you know their users are trying to stream it it's just going from there rather than having to connect to say hong kong or japan or malaysia or the usa or europe it's just cached locally in the philippines so if it's in their data center and it's only being transmitted locally on their internal network why does it have to consume your monthly data cap now most of pldt's uh, my dsl high speed plans and fiber plans don't have a data cap so we're talking more about the bundled plans you know the really cheap ones that you get the phone line and the internet for like a thousand a month or something or their um, like lte or wireless plans those are the ones that are really going to be affected by this and to be honest i don't understand it for the wireless ones like lte or smart i can understand that because you know their cell sites can only handle so much traffic but when we're talking about their home DSL users, for instance, the ones on the bundled plans, why should it consume their bandwidth? Because surely they've got enough internal bandwidth to be able to handle that kind of traffic anyway. So, you know, to me, I think they should just say, you know, this doesn't add to your monthly consumption. So I literally just started my 14 day free trial today. Um, and so far I haven't had any big issues. I did have one TV show I was streaming where it just stopped streaming. And even if I skipped ahead or back, it just wouldn't resume. Uh, so I just refreshed and that fixed the problem. So otherwise it seems pretty good. Now they do also have a mobile app, which is pretty good. Um, and for instance, you can see now I'm using this on Globe 3G, if you look at the top. So it doesn't actually matter whether you log in or sign up under say PLDT, or if you sign up separately, um, as long as you log in from an IP address that goes that's traced back to the Philippines, you'll be able to log in. Um, and so for right, right now I'm on 3G, if we try and stream this I don't know if it's a show or a movie, but let's try stream whatever it is. Oh, it says no seasons available. That's the first time I've experienced that. I'm not sure why they would add it here if there's no seasons available. Um, let's try 10 things I hate about you. So let's play this. What does this say? You seem to be on a mobile network. Streaming video might be expensive when not on Wi-Fi. Do you want to continue? Now that brings up a good point. If you're using something like uh, Globe Super Surf or any of their surfing packages, they have a limit either daily or monthly and typically it's like 800 or 800 megabytes or one gig per day. So this kind of service is not really suitable for 3G connections. But um, let's try and see if it manages to stream anyway. I assume it will because Globe, you know, the 3G service is pretty quick when it works. Still loading. It has been raining um, today, so of course we all know what happens to the internet when it rains in the Philippines. Okay, so it's streaming now, let's skip forwards. There you go. See, it works fine basically. Um, so whether you're at home or on a mobile device, you're going to be able to get connected and watch your iFlix. It's just 99 pesos a month. I mean, that's pretty incredible. As long as they keep adding content, that's the important thing. If you sign up for this and then they stop adding content, 
you know, it's useless. You're going to get through most of the content in maybe a few months. Um, although that does bring up another good thing about iFlix. There's no commitment. Uh, it's month by month. You can pay for an annual, uh, like an annual membership, and that works out a little bit cheaper. But if you pay per month, you can cancel at any time, uh, which is really good because if they don't keep adding content, cancel, no problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry I couldn't stream more content, but you know, there are fair usage things to consider and copyright. Um, but I do recommend that you check out iFlix because it's free, uh, unlike the Globe service, which unfortunately they don't have any uh, free trial option. With iFlix, you can get 14 days completely free. You don't have to give any details, uh, just a cell phone number and an email address. So sign up, try it out, see if it works for you, see if you like it. If you don't like it, cancel, no problem. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.